Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome. Today we're going to be cleaning a Glock. Now this is a Glock 17 Gen 5, but this goes for any model Glock. And stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you a Glock joke. You're going to need a few things. So you'll need cleaning pads, gun cleaning pads. You'll need gun oil. Any brand is fine and you're going to need gun CLP or cleaner. All right. First step of the process is obviously going to be to remove the magazine and make sure that your gun is free and clear. No ammunition around. Go ahead and press the trigger. All right. Now you need to grab your Glock like this and pull back slightly. Now at the same time, you're going to depress these two tabs right here and pull down on them. Now while you push the slide forward, go ahead and you can grab the slide firmly and slide it off of the rails. Now you have your firearm frame and you have your retaining spring. And you're gonna take that out and then all you have left to remove is the barrel. So these are the four parts to your Glock. All right, now for cleaning, you're gonna take a little bit of your cleaner and one cleaning pad. And you're going to dab it a little bit one time. And you can clean the outside of the barrel. You're going to be using several cleaning pads with this process. This gun is dirty. I've been shooting steel case ammo, so it definitely needs cleaning. And you're going to put that to the side and you're going to use another cleaning pad. And you're going to use the tool that came with your Glock to put this in like so and you're just gonna push that through the breech face of the barrel and pull it back out the retaining spring does not need cleaning or whatever that doesn't need any lubrication or cleaning so you can just set that to the side you can clean it a little but you do not need to lube it or anything like that i go around with the dry pad one more time on the outside of the barrel Make sure that I got it nice and clean. All right. Next step is your slide. And you were going to clean this. You can use your hands and a cleaning pad. And sometimes uh, I like to use an old toothbrush. This works good uh, over the cleaning pad. Just make sure to not brush your teeth with this. That is dirty. As you know, steel case ammo does not shoot as clean as brass. And you can clean it to your liking. The good thing about Glocks, they are very reliable and they don't require excessive cleaning. They're gonna run good, but it is important to keep it pretty clean. That looks pretty good. That's just normal wear. All right, now for the frame of the firearm, you can, <coughs> You can use a cleaning pad, but this doesn't normally need a whole bunch of cleaning. Just clean the contact points.
Anywhere you see there's buildup or anything like that, you can get that nice and clean. doesn't need excessive cleaning as you can see that's pretty clean already all right so now we're going to move on lubrication all right so the first thing that i like to start with and um is the slide you can put only you only need to put like little bits you don't need a whole bunch of lube for these guns for any gun for that but well for especially glocks but you only need one little dot on the rail put it right about here and one on the other side okay and then you're gonna let it well and then you can put the one dot right here where the uh right here where parts of the spring will contact and you're gonna you can let this sit like that if you can balance it if not, just hold it upright for a minute and that'll allow the gun loop to run down the rails. And then it's not gonna balance for me. That's fine. All right, now for the barrel. Um, you can run a little dab through the barrel it's not required, but uh, just a s slight little bit. It's gonna take just a little bit right there. Just one little dot. And this will help get all the residue off uh, that was left over from cleaning. That's it. Just run it through a couple times. All right. And you're also Gonna wanna put one dot of lube right here where the spring is gonna contact. Basically, you're just lubing the main contact points. That's it. That's all you wanna do right there. And you can put a dot on it. Just kind of work that in on the side right there. And then the other points that you're gonna wanna lube right here is the trigger part of the trigger assembly right there. You just want one dot right down in here. All right, and now that'll go down on itself and you can wipe the excess off. Now we are ready for reassembly. So first, you are going to put in your barrel. And to put the spring in, you're going to make sure the spring is going to sit on that bottom groove of the barrel. Like so. And then you are ready to align the slide onto the rails just like that go ahead and check the trigger mechanism make sure it resets all right now you can wipe down the excess that any that you missed on the outside you can use a little gun oil on the outside of the slide if you want to. Reinsert the magazine. Make sure that the slide catch is activated and working correctly and you have a clean Glock so a Colt 1911 and a Glock 17 walk into a bar the Colt says hey Glock you want to play a drinking game 
And the Glock replies, You old idiot, you can only last eight rounds. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button if this video helped you out. You guys have a nice day.